In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how to use the whole feature in Onshape. So right here we have our piece of stock, whether it's wood, aluminum, stainless steel, doesn't really matter. Um, I went ahead and I created a sketch, um, and I just made a line, I made a circle, and I made a point. Um, it doesn't really matter what shape you use, it doesn't matter. Um, you just need something that has points. So we're going to use our whole command, and let's just say for this first one, um, we have a simple hole. We have simple, we have counter bore, we have counter sink. But for this first one, we'll just do simple. We have a blind right now. If we wanted to say we wanted to send it all the way through our stock, we could do that. The last thing that we need to do is set our diameter of our hole. So maybe we want a one inch diameter. We can look at that and that hole goes all the way through. Okay. Um, we can do hole again. Let's do a couple other ones. Um, let's do a counter bore. All right, so this is gonna have that flat cylindrical face at the bottom that could be used for like socket cap screws, things like that. Um, so let's set the uh, diameter inside the counter bore. So we could say, yeah, we could leave it at an inch, that's fine. Maybe we set our counter bore diameter to 1.5. And then last, it's gonna ask us to set the depth of the diameter of the, or I'm sorry, the depth of the counter bore. So let's just do half an inch. So again, now we can see that flat cylindrical uh, face right here. Um, we have this set to through all, that's fine. We can send it all the way through again for this one. So again, if we look at the bottom, yep, our hole goes all the way through. Uh, for the next one, let's do a hole. We could choose, again, we could just choose this point. And let's change this one to a counter sink. Instead of going all the way through, let's do a blind, and then let's choose now how far we want it to go down. So again, let's choose that inside diameter. Uh, maybe we do, I don't know, 0.5. Uh, maybe we set the countersink diameter to one and a quarter. Um, we could leave the countersink angle at 82 degrees. Again, that tapered edge. Um, and let's set the depth to like 1.5. That was good, okay, green check mark, okay. Um, next, what we could do is let's do a hole again. Let's go to this one and let's do a counter bore. Um, and then what we're gonna do is let's do um, a custom standard. We could do this ANSI standard. Um, and for the hole type, we're gonna do tapped so that the inside uh, has threads. Um, so what we can do is we can set those internal threads. Uh, let's do, I'll just pick a, pick one, three eighths. That looks good. Threads uh, per inch, we could do 24. And so I'm just gonna leave these numbers here. This is fine. Um, we have the inside diameter, the counter bore diameter. We have the counter bore depth, and then we have the overall depth. Um, this is our tapped depth. So how far down do we want the threads to go? Again. Uh, we can just leave these for right now. We'll go green check mark. And then again, as we can see, like we can see our counter bores, we can see our counter sink, and then our through hole. Um, just for the video purposes as well, um, what we could do is we could just kind of cut this shape in half and see uh, what it looks like overall. So we could remove um, half of our shape here. And let's remove this little part as well right there. And let's just remove this all the way through. Let's go two inches. And so now if we turn our little piece around here, like we can see all of our holes. So we can see the, and if we look at our back face here again, we can see our counter bore. We can see that tapered counter sink. And then we can see our other uh, counter bore as well. Unfortunately, in on shape, you won't be able to see the, the tapped hole, the threads. Um, I believe in Inventor and in Fusion 360, I think they have a command for you to do that. Um, but in Onshape, you unfortunately won't be able to see that. But this is how you use the whole command in Onshape. 